Okay, so I had a student ask for help on calculating equilibrium constant with a partial equilibrium composition. Okay, so I'm not really having any sense of what's going on yet. I'm just going to read the question. Ammonia will decompose into nitrogen and hydrogen at high temperatures. So let me make a note. Ammonia will decompose. Um, it says it's equilibrium, so I'm going to go ahead and, and do that arrow, right? will decompose into nitrogen and hydrogen at high temperature. An industrial chemist, an industrial chemist studying this reaction fills a 100 liter tank with 28 moles of ammonia gas. Okay, so let me come here, change my color, and you've seen me do this before. I'm going to set up my uh, table. The volume is 100, right? It's 100 for all of them because they're all in the same tank with 28 moles of ammonia gas. 28 point, and that's point. So this is two sig figs, that one's three. I'm gonna go ahead and do my, cal my concentration right now. Remember that concentration is equal to moles per liter, right? And so this is going to be 28 over 100 this is going to be 0 0.28 molar. Okay. Uh, fills the tank. Uh, 28 moles of ammonia of gas at 31 degrees Celsius, which is a little hotter than room temperature. He then raises the temperature, and when the mixture, i got to read this again, when the mixture has come to equilibrium, measures the amount of hydrogen gas to be 29 moles. Oh, I didn't balance this up here. Let's come up and balance this real quickly here, okay? If there's one mole of nitrogen here, oops, there's two, so I better come over here and put a two in front of that. Okay, and it looks like now there's six moles of hydrogen atoms, so I'm gonna have to say that, okay? Let's make sure this is correct now. Two moles of nitrogen, yep. Six moles of hydrogen, yep, okay, we're good. All right, so, and it looks like, now let me go back to black now, that at equilibrium, so here's what I've got. I didn't leave myself enough room, and I, I put this in two separate layers so I could do this here, okay? Let me erase all this. Should have put it in the other layer. I'll go back here. Let me go back to... Okay. So what I'm going to do is ammonia... So the video that you, or the uh, topic that you did just recently was setting up a reaction uh, table, right? And so we're gonna do concentration initial. Um, initial concentration, change, and equilibrium, right? So it turns out that our initial concentration here is 0.28 zero and zero, right? And it looks like uh, with this question, I'm going to come back here and look at this again. It looks like I had 29 moles at uh, equilibrium. And so 29 moles at equilibrium is going to give me an equilibrium of 0 0.29, right? Because it was 100 liters. I agree, 29 moles is going to be that. So now I know what my equilibrium moles of nitrogen is too, right? If I started out with, with zero, and it's going to be 0 0.29 moles of hydrogen. Moles of hydrogen and moles of nitrogen, right? And this comes from the balanced reaction here. It's three for every one. So that's going to give me 0 0.29 over 3 moles of nitrogen. And it also tells me how many moles of ammonia I have. We'll, we'll figure it out in just a second here. Can you see that this is going to be... Right? 0.29. 
and so if I if I make 0.29 moles of this, I must be consuming some of this, right? So let's go. 0.29 moles of hydrogen okay is going to be consuming that's three and that's two from the balanced reaction right is going to be two-thirds times 0 0.29 moles of ammonia right so I'm gonna get my calculator out I'm gonna go back over to Alex do I have my calculator and Alex still active I don't do I nope I can't do that I got to use my scientific calculator here and I don't even see it I'll be right back don't go anywhere I know that's tacky to not even edit that out but frankly substantially increases my production time if I do that so I'm gonna leave that in there aren't where was I go back over here to here 0 0.29 0 0.29 divided by 3 equals 0 0.90 this up here is going to be equal 0 0.09667 right it's only 66 repeating and this is going to be 0 0.1933 repeating. Okay, so that's how many moles of ammonia that I consumed, right? So if I consumed that much ammonia, it's going to be minus 0 0.19333. That's going to give me my equilibrium concentration of ammonia. Um, and I admit, I haven't even read the question yet, right? We don't know if it's, if we're being asked what is K, we don't know, but I'm about to get these numbers first. Plus 0.28 equals 0 0.08667, okay? And this is going to be zero plus 0 0.09667. 0 0.09667. There's my equilibrium concentration of both of those, okay? So having said that, let's set up our, I think the question is asking for K, but I'm going to, let's disappear this and let's go back here. Calculate the concentration equilibrium constant, exactly what's being asked, okay? All right, let's go back here, get rid of that. And the question is, what is K? So K is, Concentration of nitrogen, concentration of hydrogen cubed, right? Concentration of ammonia squared, all right? So let's put this in here now. 0 0.09666. Six. There's a bunch of sixes, right? Six, six repeating. And H2, 0 0.29 squared divided by 0 0.08666, repeating. Oops, look at that. This is squared, but that was supposed to be cubed, right? Wow, it's easy to make these mistakes. Easy to make them. Let me come down here now. Let's calculate this. I'm gonna put this in my calculator. Then we're gonna go back and, and, and make sure that, that uh, we read the question correctly. Nine six 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 times point two nine squared divided by oh, I did it again. Ah, oh, it's cubed. Point oh nine six 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 times point two nine cubed divided by 0 0.086666. I'm just doing a bunch of sixes uh, squared. Equals 0 0.31388. I'm gonna 0 0.31388. I'm gonna calculate this again in my calculator. I just, 
I always get nervous. My, the, the scientific calculator I'm using doesn't show my calculations, so I'm going to do it one by one, okay? I'm going to, um, because it's so important we get this right. This is clearly 0967, right? But this number next to it, where 0.29 cubed is 0 0.2. 0 0.02439, right? And this is going to be divided by 0 0.0866666 squared 0075111. Okay, now I'm going to, to multiply this again just to make sure I got the same thing times. 0.09666666 times 0 0.024389 equals, and that was right. Okay, so this is right. This is correct. That is my K, and I'm done. That's my equilibrium constant. All right, let's go back now and, and read the question again. I'm going to get rid of all my work here. I'm going to read the question. Ammonia will decompose into nitrogen and hydrogen. We already got that. 31. He raises the temperature. Amount of hydrogen gas to be 29 moles. Did we get that right? Yes, we said 29 moles. That was right here. This was 29 molar. We did concentrations. But remember, since it was 100 volume, 100 liters of volume, it's the same thing. It's 0.29 molar. Right? Okay, let's go back and read that again. Calculate the concentration equilibrium constant for the decomposition of ammonia at the final temperature of the mixture. Round your answer to two sig figs, which I did not do. Okay, so that's the last thing I'll do is I round my answer to two sig figs. And so this is going to be, I'm going to report this as 0.31. That's what's going in my, in my, uh, that's what's going in the, field that I answer this on. Let's go back here and I don't have a way to enter it so let's look at the explanation in 0 0.31. There it is. Boom! 0 0.31. All right. Okay. So I hope that's helpful. There's a lot of work to do there. I'm um, Let me go back and say I think the big deal for us here is setting up the reaction table. Okay. So if you've gotten this far in Alex, you've already successfully set up reaction tables. So, but I'd say that's a big deal. Another place that was maybe a big deal was going from these two numbers to our concentration of volume in moles and went to concentrations. And these are always in concentrations. So being able to go from volume and moles to concentration uh, is an important skill. Being able to go back and forth. I guess the last thing, I, since we're doing an overview, the last thing that is important for me to point out is that I converted the moles that disappeared, or rather the moles that were generated of hydrogen, I, real, I related that to the moles of nitrogen that must have also appeared, and the moles of ammonia that were consumed. All right, and as you see, we got the right answer. Let me encourage you to, especially if this is a little bit confusing, consider going back and redoing this problem, uh, and then checking it against my work to see where you deviate if you're getting it wrong. All right, good luck.